The avian influenza virus has continued to spread to more poultry farms across more local government areas in eight states in the northwest and north central parts of the country. Musa Baba Ali reports that more than 400,000 birds have been exposed to the virus. The outbreak of avian influenza is attacking poultry with two types of pathogenic strains of H5N1 and H5N8. President, Nigeria Veterinary Medical Association, Dr. Ibrahim Adoshehu, says best human transmission is high due to the presence of the two strains. In the case of the avian influenza, I don't think we have documented any successful transmission from humans to humans. That's when it makes it more serious. But as it is now, it's still very serious because the high-risk groups that are involved with poultry and poultry products, there is risk of transmission of these viruses to them. Chief Veterinary Officer of the Federation, Olani Ron Aladi, confirmed the outbreak of the virus in eight states as at 5th of April 2021. A document he made available to NTA News shows that 421,000 birds have been exposed to the virus in 20 local government areas, resulting in the death of 92,422 birds. 329,556 birds have been depopulated and 1,982 eggs destroyed. There's really nothing to worry about because um, what we are adapting for, especially for this current outbreak, we're already working with the NCDC. We have what we call the One Health Team. For every outbreak that is confirmed, we communicate with the NCDC. We form a joint One Health Team. The NCDC go to the farms to take blood samples from the human exposures in those farms. In the meantime, Poultry farms and live birds markets in the Federal Capital Territory have been put on alert with the presence of the virus in neighboring states of Niger and Nasarawa. Nigerians are therefore advised to avoid sick or dead birds, including chicken, where poultry farm owners are expected to report any mortality to relevant authorities. In Abuja, Musa Baba Aliyu, NTA News. We're now joining Jennifer in our Lagos studio for more reports. Hello, Jenny. It's good to see you.